asked her, did they tell you that you'd probably be the first one out of the pen coming into today's game? Yeah, there was a possibility. Uh, having having gone extended innings, uh, you know, last start, uh, last outing. Um, so today I was it was it was me that was going to go, you know, most probably after Chad Green. Anything different about coming in in that capacity in that situation early in the game? Um, no, I just I knew I had to get the, the the job done. I knew there was you know we were short on on arms and we'd have a starter, so I knew I had to eat up innings and keep the game as close as possible. How did you evaluate your performance today? Um, you know, I, I think I kept the game in line, uh, even though I, I gave up a three-run homer. But, um, you know, once Guardy picked us up uh, to get us in the lead and I gave up a three-run homer, uh, Hixie picked us back up. And I thought, uh, you know, from, from there on out, I, I, I controlled the situation and, and it was pretty good. How did you feel about the team's ability to put together a win today, stringing together all of these pitchers? Yeah, I mean, everybody battled. Uh, you know, one through nine, I think everybody uh, had quality at bats. And, you know, it was, it was fun to be out there and, and actually compete with, you know, with the winning team. Well, the hope was that they could get Chad Green as the opener through two innings or maybe even three if he kept his pitch count low. That didn't happen. He did get the first two outs at the top of the second inning, but then gave up back-to-back -back home runs. So just one swing and miss for him on the day. Six balls put in play with an exit velo over four of them over 90 miles per hour and two home runs allowed. Six this season. He is allowed in 11 and a third. Here he is breaking down his outing. Chad, how odd was it today coming in as the opener starting things off? Uh, wasn't that unusual just because I've, I've been doing it in the screen in the past. Th I did it three times there and did it in spring training a couple times. So it um, wasn't anything out of the ordinary, I don't think. So. What did you take away from those experiences that prepared you for this? Yeah, it's just getting, I think, the pregame routine down. I think it's just how many, how much do I throw in the bullpen or and how, how much do I throw warming up is the biggest adjustment, I think. So. One um, away from getting out of that second inning, what happened there with those final two batters you faced? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating because, yeah, like I said, I'm one pitch away from getting out of the inning, get two quick outs, and, and can't close it out. So, um, but, yeah, I feel like it's close. It's just, um, yeah, I just didn't make a pitch when I, when I needed to. Um, just location w wasn't that great. Um, but, I mean, Nestor coming in, getting out of that inning was huge, and allowing our offense to work was awesome. So. You had talked when you first came back your previous two appearances that you were feeling pretty good on the mound, that the stuff was back. Did it feel different today? No, not really. I mean, I, I still feel good. I feel like I'm in a good spot. It's just, it's close. It's just, it's, like, it's a matter of making one more pitch per outing. I mean, that's what it feels like. I mean, the past two outings, I've been one pitch away from getting out of it. So it's just, um, yeah, I just got to keep trusting the process and um, trying to get through it. They came to you and wanted to use you as an opener again. Is that something you'd be good with? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, for me, it doesn't matter where I pitch. I'm just, I'm ex for me, I, I, I just need to get out there as much as I can right now. So, um, yeah, whether that's the first inning or the sixth or seventh, it really doesn't matter. So.